Start of the second quarter, Dan Hawk and Skip Boyden with you from Wichita Falls, Joe Golding Field at Memorial Stadium as Midwestern State punting here to Incarnate Word, and that is going to take a bounce around the 15, and Midwestern State is going to down it around the 18-yard line, tied up at 7. Brandon Kelsey, a 56-yard touchdown for Midwestern State. Matt Bass, 3-yard touchdown catch for Incarnate Word. But so far, Skip Boyden, through the first 15 minutes, pretty entertaining. Yes, it is. It's a pretty solid game right now and I don't want to keep harping on it, but the weather will definitely even things up. You, you got a team that likes to run a lot. You got another team that likes to, to run and pass a little bit. So, you know, they're both playing on an even kill right now in the rain here in Wichita Falls. 116 yards total offense, coincidentally for both teams, courtesy of our statistician, Ron Brown. So Incarnate Word sets up first and 10 from the 19 yard line as Rhodes on the bootleg, looks for a man and has him around the 20 yard line. And out of bounds is Andrew Moshia and he's gonna be out of bounds close to the 26 it looks like. Yeah, you'll see him do a, a, a nice job here. Get off the blocker and then release the block and then open for the reception. And it will be a good pickup of about eight. You'll call it second and two. Armonte Yarborough, the man in there for Midwestern State, has bought the 26-yard line. Trent Rios, the senior leader and running back for Incarnate Word, out of the game tonight as that ball is flipped to Kent Hadnot for his first reception of the night. And that's going to be an Incarnate Word first down close to the 35. Rhodes is doing a fine job in, in running the offense right now. And, and welcome back to the offense. Remember a week ago he was unable to play due to an injury, but he is back and back strong so far tonight as far as uh, passing the football and moving the team. Tyler Tackett on the stop for Midwestern State. The sticks move, it's first and 10. Ball at the 35 yard line for the Cardinals. And the senior showing some poise at quarterback as he goes back to pass. Ball's in the air, and it's incomplete over through his intended receiver. And he was looking for Devon Avery, a cornerback who gets a lot of time in the secondary. You see him look back and throw. That wind is blowing out of the north, and you see the wind kind of like take the ball a little bit to the left that time. He thought the throw was on target, but with that wind blowing the way it is right now out of the north and that rain coming down, the ball's not on target as he thought it would be. Good job by Corian Briggs defensively for Midwestern State. <coughs> Second down coming up. Four-man front as Midwestern State blitzes. And coming up through the middle is the freshman Sadler. And nowhere to go as he gets tripped up by Tayon Jackson, a 6-190-pound junior out of Bakersfield. Look at Jackson come up and make the play. And he will come up right there. A nice solo tackle there. Nice one-on-one -on -one solo tackle. That's what you like to see. Jackson four tackles a week ago in the win over Kingsville and gets one right there. He's tied for second on this Midwestern State squad in tackles here in 2012. And you can make solid tackles like that. Just one-on-one -on -one tackles. That's good. There's a third down conversions for you right now. Three of six compared to 0 for 1 for MSU. Out of the shotgun on third down, heavy pressure, and that ball's intercepted by Nico Conway for Midwestern State. He's at midfield and into Cardinals territory, still on his feet, and he is going to be out of bounds at the 20, or excuse me, 29-yard line. And for Nico Conway, that is his second interception of the year. He had one against a and Commerce and picks one up here. Doing good job, but then he's trying to force that double coverage in front and in behind, and there's the pick. And then going down the sideline, trying to get some blocks. Could have been an illegal block there, but that wasn't called. And then he steps out of bounds right there, which will end the play. And that's the last thing you want to do for this Midwestern State offense is they're pretty powerful when you give them this kind of field position. Turnovers. Told you a little bit about that rain and that wind forcing them to throw long on that play, which I don't know why. They were doing a good job on the on the dump off passes and the uh, short ones. First and 10 from the 29 as it goes 
out of bounds after a pickup of two as Jared Freeman there for Midwestern State with the catch. Simple play, just a little out pattern to the sideline there. Just a couple of yards. That's almost as good as handing the ball off off the middle. Only a pickup of two on that play. But that seems to be working right now for both teams, a little dump off passes. The bombs might not work so far or might not work as much in this rain tonight. Devon Avery on the stop for Incarnate Word. Off the 27, second down and eight. Kelsey gonna hand this one off to Chauncey Harris. Harris loses his footing. You see him try to make a cut right there and he slipped and fell down. Lost his momentum, but he fell at least for another two yards or so, so it'll be third and long. Now you see some of the cheerleaders that are, you know, bearing this weather here tonight. They got the rain gear, so they're having a great time. College football on a Saturday night. Glad you could join us here on Time Warner Cable Sports Incarnate Word. Keep it up with number 14, Midwestern State. It's tied up at 7, 11.40 to go here in this first half as Brandon Kelsey, nowhere to go, and he's going to get wrapped up. Nice job by Nick Morrow, a sophomore out of Edna, the backup inside linebacker. Oh, nice job by that defensive line, containing and holding, not letting them get the edge, and then Mora finally there wrapping them up there with help from his friends, and a good defensive stand that time for the Cardinals, which will force a field goal opportunity now for the Mustangs. And Saladito, one of the best in the business in the Lone Star Conference. He was the Lone Star Conference Special Teams Player of the Week last week after hitting three field goals against Texas A&M Kingsville on the road to get the win for Midwestern State. And a penalty flag flies before they can get this one off. I believe the uh, delay of game, I believe the play clock ran out on them. Game on the offense, five yard penalty, repeat fourth down, fourth down. So they're gonna back them up even further. Saladino's career long is 57. So he's got the leg to get it. And the wind, though, blowing in his face. Yes, the wind blowing in his face, also uh, with rain. This will be a tough kick. 47 yards now for Saladino as he tries to break this tie, and the kick is up, and it is good. So Saladino is sixth field goal of the season, and Midwestern State takes a 10-7 lead. We'll be back on Time Warner Cable Sports.